Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Zoom presets in Reaper. Now the idea of Zoom presets is it allows us to zoom to certain sizes and then recall that zoom with different keystrokes or presets. So I have a project in front of me here, and let's zoom in to a certain level. We could use the plus key to zoom in and the minus key to zoom out, but I'm going to use the mouse wheel and just zoom in to a good level we'll call default. Then I'm going to save this as a screen set. We'll go to View and go down here to Screen Sets. And that opens up this dialog. Now, the screen sets we're going to use are under this tab here, Track Views. Now, we're going to save presets right down here, which we could load with these keystrokes. Now, I'm going to change the default ones, and we could change them really easily by editing our shortcuts. So they all show up right here. Instead of F4, I'm going to delete it and make it 1 on my QWERTY keyboard. Now, by default, Reaper uses these numbers for our markers, but I'm going to replace that. But feel free to use any keystroke you want. I'll do the same with 2, make that 2, and we'll do one more and make it 3. Now, we could use up to 10 of these, but we're just going to use 3 for now. So I can close this, and we can see those keystrokes added right here. So now we need to save a Zoom preset. We'll go to the first one, hit Save, and this dialog opens up where we can name it and choose the parameters to be saved with our preset. We'll name it Default, as it'll be our default Zoom preset. Then we have some variables right down here, and we don't want to choose all of them. This is the track cursor position. This is going to move our cursor to the same position when we saved it. And we don't want that. So we'll turn this off. And here we could save track scroll positions. Again, we don't want to save that. We want our position to be anywhere on the screen. We just want to save the horizontal zoom. So we'll keep this checked and turn these two off. As we don't need to save the track height, visibility, or the track control panel status, or the mixer status. We just want to save the horizontal zoom. So now we'll save it. That preset shows up right here. And let's close this. Now if we zoom in really close, hit that keyboard shortcut, it zooms back to that preset where we saved it. So again, we can zoom in, go to that default by hitting that keyboard shortcut. Let's save a few more. We could open the screen sets with Control E on the PC or Command E on the Mac. And we could save another one. But let's first zoom in to the zoom level we want to save. So let's get nice and close to these transients. Right about there feels good. Let's go back to the screen sets and save it into slot 2. We'll name it Closer or whatever name you want. Again, we're only saving horizontal zoom. So that'll be the only thing being recalled. Save it. And we can see the preset right here. So let's close it. Hit the keyboard shortcut 1. It goes to the default. Hit 2. And it zooms in a bit closer based on how we saved that preset. Let's save another one even closer. Let's zoom in really close like here, which is really good for close-up editing. Open screen sets and save it to slot 3. We'll name it really close. And now we have three zoom presets. And again, we could have up to 10. Hit keyboard shortcut 1. It's our default. Hit 2. It's a little bit closer. Hit 3. And it's really close. Now where it focuses but where it's centered is based on a preference. Let's open our preferences under options, preferences, and let's scroll down 
to editing behavior. And right over here, we have the horizontal zoom center. By default, it's set to the edit cursor or play cursor. So what's going to happen if I hit the keyboard shortcut, one, it zooms out based on the cursor. So the cursor is in the middle. If I put the cursor here, hit that keystroke, it centers it so an edit cursor or a play cursor is always in the middle, which is more important when we zoom in. So if I put it right here, hit two, it zooms in with the cursor right in the center. Hit three, and it's even closer. But if you notice, it's a bit off. So I want to put the cursor a bit closer to this before I hit three. Now we can get closer, but the edit cursor or the play cursor is always centered. So that's kind of important. But we could change that preference to a few other things. We could change it to center our view. And now go to zoom preset one. And we could put our cursor all the way over here as it's not going to matter. The zoom center is going to be based on the center of our view. So if we put bar nine right in the center, right here, if I zoom in to preset two, we can see that nine is still in the center. Zoom out and back in. Go to preset three, and that's also in the middle, based on the center of our view. But there's one other option, and that's the mouse cursor. If we choose this, it's based on where our mouse is placed. So again, we can go to zoom preset one, it zooms out to the default, put our cursor at bar 11, hit two, and it keeps that same section in our view. Hit preset three, same thing. Preset one, two, and three. This way as we're zooming in, we can always keep things or the important things on our screen, which is really helpful as we could use these presets to toggle between two different settings. For example, let's go back to zoom preset two. And let's say we wanted to work with a zoom level right about here. We want to get really close for each one of these transients. Maybe edit them. We could save this as preset two. Just go to two and resave it. And then get closer to a level we want to edit and save that as preset three. Resave this one right here. So now we can go back to two, work through our project, hitting three every time we want to get close. Hit three, and we're really close on this transient. Go back to two, and we can jump around to this transient. Hit three, it zooms in nice and close. So we can edit our transients. Go back to preset one, and we're back to our default. Now I should mention, there's a bunch of other actions for different zoom levels. If we go to the action list and type zoom, we could see them all down here. So we could change them all to different keyboard shortcuts very easily. But right down here is an action where we could zoom out to the entire project using the keystroke control on the PC or command on the Mac and page down. So if we hit that keystroke, we can see our entire project in our window. So if we zoomed in at any point, let's hit two or three, we want to zoom out quickly to the entire project, hit that keystroke, and it's like having a zoom preset for the entire project. So we can see everything. But we can still use our presets that we set up, like one, two, and three. And again, we can save up to 10 of them. And we can also save them on the fly using keystrokes here. Although I find it easier just to open it up and save them right here. So that's pretty much it. That's Zoom presets in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!